Hello and welcome, Dr. Stephen Mulholland here in Houston, Texas, home of the rockets and home of the first Envision treatment in Houston for dry eye, my dry eye. See, you wouldn't think that a guy who looks so young, so vital, so youthful could have dry eye. It's my Irish Celtic curse, call it that. And I've had two treatments, my dry eye syndrome, which was, you know, just lurking pre-inflammatory redness. It feels much, much better. This is my third and hopefully final treatment before I go into maintenance. Now, I trust Jim implicitly. He's helped me um, so much over the years, haven't you, Jim? Yeah. Quite yes, a bit. he has. See, and so he's going to be doing my treatment. You're going to see the forma eye on the lower lid, forma eye on the upper lid, and then we'll go to Lameca. Okay, are you ready? Now, this mm -hmm. come over here, Matt, if you can. <clears throat> this is the Envision. I know it is because it says Envision on the side. Show them. <laughs> see that Envision. Inmo devices are kind of cool. Usually lasers are ugly, but they kind of Steve Jobs a lot of these devices. They look kind of pretty. They're nice. I know one marketing tactic a couple of clinics use. They put the device right in the receiving area, and they have a pull-up banner. It looks kind of nice. looks kind of not very threatening. looks pretty. And so they do a good job kind of applifying these products. And this is the Envision. The Envision comes with three applicators comes with the Forma Eye. You don't need much education of the Forma Eye other than it's tiny compared to the Forma or the Forma Plus. And why that important? You know the answer. How deep does RF go? Half the distance of the two electrodes on average. And so these are tiny. And you can get right up that cerebral lash line. And so you can go maybe three millimeters deep. But stay off my cornea and my conjunctivum. That's no disposable, use it, clean it off, go on to the next patient. The next product you'll see in sequence is going to be this. We've seen it before, this is Lameca, but this is Lameca Eye. With this little addition or applicator, it allows us to get right into the intraorbital region, a tiny little spot size, so you can get right up to that silvery lash line with a 580 cutoff filter, I average about five to six joules per centimeter squared. Once you have dry under control, not before, then of course, every patient whose dry is cured wants to look young. Now I'm a young dry eye patient, now you can talk about the Morpheus. Now this is just the plastic tip, the Morpheus Prime is the 12 pin conical. Tomorrow, I promise, you are going to see an injectable day like no other. So come out tomorrow. We'll start right at 8.30, and I'll walk you through a journey of getting the wow. Now I'm going to take a few minutes on my own, and I'm going to make my eyes a little better. Jim, walk us through what you're doing. So uh, initially, you're getting your patient back <clears throat> excuse me, in a seated, comfortable position. Do you, have, do you always, have COVID? What are you coughing for? No, no. Just, okay. you know, I'm in Missouri. Where's your mask, buddy? Where's your mask, buddy? <laughs> dead. I go to California. Nice okay. weather. Allergies. So essentially, just get your patient lean back, <clears throat> comfortable so position. So you can see what's going on here. So I'll yep. sit up a little more. There we go. Make better. sure my hair transplant's not that looks, that perfect. Okay, good. 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 <clears throat> yeah. So always wipe with alcohol, get any residue off um, with this natural, very young looking skin that Dr. Mahalan has. I'm sure he's very, very compliant good. with yes, his sure. skincare regimen. So we'll make sure we have any residue off the skin if he does have that just in case. Now I do use skincare, so I stop my Irish spring two days before every treatment. Okay, that's it. Perfect. <laughs> So then, same thing, just applying a little bit of clear ultrasound gel to the treatment area. We're gonna start on one side of the face. We'll treat one eye, upper and lower, for about four to five minutes, like Dr. Mulholland mentioned, and then we'll switch to the other side and treat the other eye. Maintaining temperature, I'll go over settings on the screen here. So Dr. Mulholland knows he's gonna keep his eye closed, essentially. This eye, we're gonna apply some of this clear ultrasound gel in the area to be treated. Perfect, just like that. And then if we come over to the system, same thing here. So we've got the Forma Eye hooked up. We're gonna select the Forma Eye on the screen itself. That's fine, we're good. And then the settings are very similar. We've got an RF power, we've got a cutoff temperature. Go over to the <coughs> machine so they can see what's going Perfect. on, Matt. You already know, follow the man. <laughs> so RF power, we've got a good starting protocol with that, usually four to five on energy. Um, I like to start right about four, that's there. Cutoff temperature, 42 degrees Celsius, 43 if it's comfortable, that's always gonna be the max. Remember what I told you about the frog in the water, because I've had this done. Better to go low energy and sneak up on 43 over a minute than high energy, get there in 30 seconds, but cause an ow, ow, ow. Then you lose the patient's confidence. Around the eye, that's not a good thing. 
correct. Also for new offices, <clears throat> we like to teach to go ahead and start off a little bit lower RF power. What that allows you to do as a provider is move slower and hone in on your technique. We're gonna be right over the eye itself. So we wanna make sure that we have good technique, the pressure you'll get with time on doing the treatment. Everything on the screen is set, and then I will just apply. First, making contact with the probe, then I'll depress the pedal. The audible tone is gonna let me know that it's delivering energy. That little squawk right there is letting me know I just need to have a little bit more skin contact. And then I'll just gauge comfort from Dr. Mahal, and he's gonna give me good feedback, let me know if my pressure is a little bit too much, or if I can apply a little bit more pressure to the treatment area. I'll let you know with my elbow in your crotch. Perfect. <laughs> So that double beep that you have right there, that audible tone, that means that we're approaching our cutoff temperature. Then there is a triple beep that's letting us know that we are reaching that cutoff temperature of 42 degrees Celsius. And then it's just alternating, going back and forth between the upper and the lower, making sure that we're maintaining that tissue temperature. 